Hello, and welcome to the Pen of Force Gaming Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Um, this is the first time that I've ever played Generation 2, because I am not exactly what you would call a Pokemon guy. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and see how this goes. <laughs> Probably poorly. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why don't I? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? Sure. Ah, uh, this girl's a cutie, but I think I'm gonna have to go with the boy. So you're a boy then? Yes. Please tell me your name. Okay. Jordan, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. I am ready! Fun experiences, difficult experiences, and there's so much waiting for you. There's... there's no ant. <laughs> Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Dope! <gasps> we small now! Alright. Just gonna go ahead and go to bed. Guess I can't. That's fine. Um, oh wait. Still using the wrong button. Lyra? Read. I love Pokemon. Me too. It's a Wii. Wii is huge in Johto too. Cool. There's a TV here. Nice. Got all the priorities straight. You know, can't interact with that. Alright, I guess let's just go downstairs. Hi, Jordan. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide-and-seek with her Meryl. Is Lyra the, uh, the cutie that I was choosing between, uh, this guy and her? Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. Oh, boy. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way... Do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Thanks, ma'am. This is your trainer card. Thanks, ma'am. You can save a record of your progress. Thanks, ma'am. These are also rather helpful. Thanks, ma'am. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. So as far as Nuzlocke, uh, this is going to be pretty a pretty easy one. I'm, I'm going to be using... I think I'm probably going to be using shift. Alright, great. Figured out the options, so now we should be all good to go. Um, so yeah, we're using shift, um, which is probably a better choice for me. Oh boy, a Meryl. <gasps> Lyra. A total cutie if ever I've seen one. Um, let's see, so, Elm Pokemon Lab, hello, so this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab, what are you staring at? Um, I mean, I was staring at you, I like your bag, thanks, it's Gucci. Yo, Jordan. I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. That's pretty epic. What's in here? Person. Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. This fact was first discovered by Professor Elm. Yes, so Pichu. So, that was, that was introduced in Gen 2, huh? I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. I'm sure that blew people's minds the first time. They were like, what? No, it's not! <laughs> He's so famous for his research on Pokemon Evolution. Sigh. I wish I could be a researcher like him. I mean, you can be. Just gotta start researching. That's really all there is to it. Lyra's house. Okay, well, I mean, I have to visit my girl. 
Hi, Jordan. Lyra's upstairs. She's playing games with her Pokemon as usual. You didn't bring your Pokemon? Oh, I should have known. You don't have your own Pokemon yet. Well, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings, Jordan. Dude. Dick? Jordan, Professor Elmo's looking for you. Did you go to his lab? I mean, I guess I'll do that. I wanted to hang out with you. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it, it'll probably be good to go to Elm. So there's a second floor there, huh? Huh? Me? I'm not the professor. He's in the back of the room. Okay, thanks, bro. Hi, Jordan. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? No. Other than the thing about the Pikachu and the whatnot. As you know, Pokemon are carried of Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many people walking with Pokemon. You could have something to do with it. Look at Grove I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk inside this Pokemon? <sighs> oh, right. So, either this or the other Gen 4 games is when they introduced, um, like, the partner system with Pokemon where they can like walk behind you, which is dope. The device over there has some Pokemon that you could choose from. Oh hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh, uh huh, okay. Hey listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? We can count on you. You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. I mean, you already told me to do that. You didn't need to give me another reason. Touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon is inside. Um. Okay, so we have... Totodile, Chikorita, and Cyndaquil. Um, but, and I know that this is a, uh, strategically bad choice, but I'm going for Chikorita. Jordan received Chikorita from Professor Elm. Hell yeah! And yes, I want to give it a nickname. Um, we're gonna go with Grubs for no particular reason. I just, I don't know. I, I thought that name would be would be cute. Is Grubs the nickname you want to give? Yes. Epic. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? No, it's not. I'm gonna take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your, I forgot his voice. If your Pokemon gets hurt. <laughs> You should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. This house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Jordan. Alright, bro. I mean, whatever. So what did I want you to have least to help you with your task? Oh, sweet. Potions. I'll probably need those. Hey, I won't hesitate to use one if I think my Pokemon's in danger, considering it would be real embarrassing if I lose immediately. Sub Lyra? Jordan, so you picked a Chikorita. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to us sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. I mean... I mean... You, you, pff, marry me? Your Pokemon is feeling good and sleepy. Nice. Alright, so I guess let's go talk to my ma'am. What's up, ma'am? Oh, Jordan, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. 
Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you to say. What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your pokey gear came back from the repair shop. What does that mean? Here you go. Pokemon gear, or pokey gear as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the pokey gear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? No. <laughs> Select the Poke Gear button on the on the touch screen, then select the telephone button. The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Oh, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Alright, don't fuck him. <gasps> Hello? Jordan? I've gotten so used to hearing your voice, but you almost sound like a different person on the phone. It's so strange. Click. I, okay, Mom. You know, I wanted to have a conversation with you, but I guess that works. <laughs> um, so I guess I don't have the... Um, I don't have the Pokédex yet, which is, which is definitely something. I'll probably get it from Mr. Pokémon or whatever. Maybe when I come back to Elm. Um. So... This is the famous Elm Pokemon. I already talked to you, and I forget what voice I gave you, but you have that voice now. Oh? Wait, one second. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Jordan registered Professor Elm in, his poke in the Poke Gear. I like that little jingle. I'll call you if anything comes up. Word, bro. <laughs> um. Okay, so as far as I'm aware, because I don't have Pokeballs yet, and I don't think I would be able to have had a way to get Pokeballs, so I don't think any encounters count for my one encounter until I get past here. However, um, obviously I still have to fight them with Chikorita. Ooh, here we go. Let's see. Here's our first battle. How funny a Pidgey. Alright, well, we should be fine. We should be fine. Even though we're weak, it's it's a level 2, so I don't imagine it can do much. Let's go ahead and tackle it. Damn! Yeah, it's using tackle 2. We're gonna be fine. Look at that! Look at that, bro! Ooh. Easy peasy, guys. First battle. Taken care of. NBD. See, Chick Reed is a powerhouse, guys. Probably the best Pokemon, honestly. Are you a trainer? Hey, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the tall grass. Thanks for the info. And, and so, no, he was not a trainer. Um. Okay, so wait, where do I go? Do I go up here? I guess I do. Yeah. There's two routes that I can go. Let's see, what's this way? Looks like just a different route to get to the same place. Ooh! Got another battle. Another Pidgey. Level 2 again. Alright, and no, no big deal. Grubs has this. On lock. Here we go. Tackle again. Good. And then we just need one more of those. Easy. Easy, guys. What's up, bro? I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. Good for you. So I'm assuming that's where I need to go, but I just I want to see if there's anything over here of, of note. 
Possibly. Hello. I'm waiting for Pokemon that only appear at night that appear only at night. Cool. Because I can't do anything with that tree yet, so I can I could head over here. But I sort of want to see what that house is up here. Plus we get another battle. I'm gonna try not to level up too much. Um, like I'm not gonna farm here um, before I before the Nuzlocke truly begins. Um, but you know, any battles that I do get, I'll, I'll obviously uh, I'll play to win. Oh, this Pidgey actually did a little bit more damage to me than the others. Still no problem though, took it out in easy three hits. Just gotta start being a little bit more careful. Ooh, level six, okay. Awesome, I learned Razor Leaf. That may come in handy. Uh, well, here we go, another battle, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Man, it's all Pidgeys. I know the Razor Leaf isn't really going to do much for me, because, you know, obviously, typings. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and run. I'm not feeling too confident about that current situation. Yeah, because I, wa I want to see what's through here. Oh, so I can actually just walk right through? Route 46. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. Okay. You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them and take a shortcut. Awesome. So, which way which way am I supposed to be going? Am I supposed to be going up there or to the, to the left a bunch? Probably to the left, right? That's what I would assume. Yeah, like, over this way. Uh, east to New Bark Town. Okay. Yeah, Cherry Grove. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Oh, hello, guy. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. I am. That's okay. Everyone is a... Everyone is a rookie trainer at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then. Follow me. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. You go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Great, so that's where I need to go. Oh, he's taking taking me to the ocean here. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Oh, is it like water Pokemon? <laughs> For instance. Here, it's my house. If you're ever keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Um, got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, let's head on inside the Poke Center. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Uh, I would. Yes, yes indeed. That's pretty cool, how it did that. Thank you for waiting. Awesome. I will come back again anytime. Okay, so... Am I to understand that I can get my Pokeballs right now? Or do I need to go to Mr. Pokemon's first? Welcome, what do you need? Uh, I'll buy. 
Oh, I can't buy Pokeballs yet. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm I'm forced to go to Mr. Pokemon's first before I can catch things. But that makes sense. <sighs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. The guy gent loaded the map card on Jordan's Poke Gear. Awesome. Jordan's Poke Gear can now show the town map. Great. Select the Poke Gear on the touch select and then select the town map icon. Awesome. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. The Poke Gear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you. Uh, guy gent or whatever. So I guess this also doesn't count. Um, oh boy, level four Pidgey. Okay, starting to become a little bit more dangerous, especially for a for a Chikorita like me. But it's fine. I'll be able to win this easy. Four hits is all I need. And this will probably give me some, some good XP. Nice. Yeah, look, I'm already like halfway there. Over. To the next level. So that's that's epic. Okay, and here we go. <laughs> um, I'm actually a little bit worried, because. The way that this is going, like, I, I can't get any other Pokemon, and I'm about to fight a Bug Trainer, which Bug is also strong against Chikorita. But, I don't know, I, I'll hopefully be fine. I should be. But, yeah, presently I don't have any way to... Um, I found another potion, that's good. I might actually use one since I'm pretty sure I'm about to fight that bug trainer. So do, you, do I have to fight you? Well, it seems I can just walk past you. But I could fight you. I think I'm gonna wait would probably be a smart decision. Is this where I can find Mr. Pokemon or are you just a guy? People usually come to my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. Okay. You did mean to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any Apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They're quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. I'm so happy that I'll give you this. Yo, an Apricorn box? Word? I'll be able to collect Apricorns. Thanks, man. I'm glad I went into your house, which I totally meant to do, obviously. It's an Apricorn tree. It's a green apricorn. Awesome. I assume that's what GRN means, is green. Just going on a wild guess there. An antidote? Epic. That'll be good, because poison, I believe, works like, you know, it's an actual game, so it works like it is supposed to. It's Pokemon's house straight ahead. Nice. Uh-oh. Caterpie? Okay. Well, Caterpie's pretty weak in general, so even though type-wise we're weak, I think this should still work out for me. Because I don't- I doubt he has any, like, good bug moves anyway. Yeah, like, he's- he's just got Tackle, which isn't even doing much to me. And from this guy, I'll actually level up again, which will be nice. Hell yeah. Oh, and another battle. <laughs> I guess that's just sort of the nature of Pokemon. Alright, Grubs. This should be no issue for you. Take care of it. Hell yeah, two Hikeo. Fko. 
Alright, this looks like a Mr. Pokemon's house. You must be Jordan. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Is that Oak? This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. I obtained a mystery egg. Okay. A friend of mine from Ekrotiak gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. Maybe. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> and with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Jordan. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Bro, you just met me, and I just met this Pokemon. <laughs> ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Ah, I received the Pokédex, nice. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. You have a radio show? Jordan, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers, just to be on the safe side. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still love that jingle, yeah. Word, anything you have to say? Sorry to trouble you having to go back and forth. But please, make sure you hand it to Professor Elm. I feel like most of my old men have that same voice. You know, there's not much I can do. Hello, Jordan? It's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It. oh no. Get back here now. I keep forgetting I gave him a nerd voice. But yeah, I mean, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go uh, back to him. Um, but I will do that in the next episode. So, until next time, thank you for watching Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Bye bye. <laughs>